Okay, and I want to go back to the question because I just went on the website because I make sure I didn't miss anything. Was will the insurance companies know if you participate in the study, or will that information be used? Um, so they, uh, so insurance companies don't aren't notified uh, that somebody's in this study, and we are not um, collecting health data per se. We certainly don't uh, provide genetic data that we've you know, we've, we've mm -hmm. generated, that's really the only data that we generate. Well, I guess the health, the Fitbit data, we, I guess we would have that too. Uh, but no, we're under no obligation to provide that to health insurance. Now your health insurance plan may require you to, you know, provide access to data and they may say, you know, where that comes from. Um, and that, uh, but as far as I know, it's going to be mostly whatever hospitals you go to and doctor's offices, but they don't have access to the data in, in uh, all of us. That's, that's protected by a confidentiality agreement uh, with the National Institutes of Health. Okay, so where do you see this program going now that we're kind of getting into the second five years of it? Well, um, I think that, uh, you know, it's a remarkable program uh, for a number of reasons. One is the sheer size of the cohort, which we haven't seen since things like veterans, some of the veterans uh, research studies. So we've got a really big cohort. And of course, the veteran studies are skewed uh, to certain populations, uh, certain genders. This is a much more uh, we, if anything, we have more, you know, too many women and not enough men signing up. Uh, but the other thing that's interesting about it is the, the racial diversity uh, of the population is much broader than somebody may be able to do when they're doing research at their own institution where they, they, they have a, you know, a research population that reflects the makeup of the general population. And then depending on socioeconomic factors, they may be able to reach or not reach certain you know, certain uh, parts of that population. Here, there's so much more diversity that when we do research and find results, we could say, you know, this this applies to the whole population, not just white men between the ages of 25 and 50, but we can say that this is a much broader, um, you know, broader uh, uh, reach for the, the, the findings of the research. So I think that's one of the remarkable things about it. The other is that we're building a group of people who have willingly said, we, yeah, we'd like to be part of a research study if there's one that's appropriate for us because we want to help. Uh, and, you know, I always, I always kid that if there's a gene for people that want to share their information and there's another gene for people mm -hmm. that don't want to share their information, we'll never find that other gene okay. uh, because we can't, we can't study those people. But um, people that are, you know, these people now, we've got a million people. And if I say, hey, you know what, I'm really curious about something that I need to ask a million people about. This is a really good way to reach them because not only are they willing to answer uh, or, you know, for the most part, we all, but we also have so much other data about them that I don't have to ask them, well, how old are you and what drugs are you on and what's your cholesterol? And I could just go, hey, how are you doing? And do you have this problem? And then I can look and see in all the other data what correlations there are, or if I want to enroll them in another study, that sort of thing. So it's a, that's really remarkable. We don't have anything like that uh, in the United States, probably in the world, uh, where we have that kind of reach to such a broad population. Birmingham app today on Android, iPhone, and iPad for free. Get info on everything you need to know about local news, events, businesses, restaurants, and more. Visit our website, whatshappeningbham.com, or follow us on social media at Happening Beham for more information. Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today, your source for everything Birmingham.